right, how's it going? Uh, how's it going, guys? It's uh, today we're gonna learn how to draw a, cl a scary clown skull. It's gonna be scary, okay? It's gonna have you know crossbones as well, but it's gonna be cool. So I'm gonna use this Crayola brand marker and regular printing paper, and that's all you need to do. Um, don't forget, if you like Halloween drawings, I'm gonna post daily until Halloween. So a lot of this stuff is gonna be condensed into three months. Um, I'm gonna be posting almost every day, but just in case I don't, hit the subscribe and click the bell notification. That'll let you know when I post. It's also going to help the algorithm out. Uh, all right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the clown nose. And that's going to be just a circle. Like so here. Sorry, I have to go over stuff over and over again because the marker I'm using is dying here. <laughs> I'm, I'm ordering uh, new markers. Uh, usually they give you in packs of 12 of these. right? I didn't have to buy them all and just take the black one out. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and draw the eye socket, which is basically a square with it rounded off, like sawed off edges or something like rounded off. So to me, I always say it looks like a marshmallow. I'm going to go over here to the other one. Markers, one of the other markers, is a little bit more fresh here. Like so. And I'm gonna fill that in, actually. I might even make it a little bit, little bit larger. Hmm, really using up these markers here. I have to like switch back and forth because they're kind of fading out. Make this a little, little bit bigger as well. Right on, and Next thing, uh, I'm going to go over here to the zygomatic arch and go pull this out, curve around, basically the cheekbone, right? The zygomatic arch is the cheekbone, pull in, and then pull down. Same thing on this end. Out here, over here, the cheekbone, in. Hmm. Right on. Right on, everybody. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of throw a line across here. All right. And I'm going to throw the line downward and downward. So we're going to draw that's the row of teeth. And I'm going to draw a circle line over here for the lips on the bottom. So right here. Like so. It's going to have kind of like a weird kind of smile to it almost. I'm going to fill in the sides here. Because those are in darkness. And I'm going to draw like sharp teeth kind of like uh, Pennywise had sharp teeth right but this is not Pennywise Ooh, can't wait for those markers to come in I am like switching markers so much because there you go they are really going south on me down over here from the left side for the lower jaw over here this side from this lower jaw, pulling in, pulling in, and chin at the bottom here. It's gonna be the squared off chin here. I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger. I still I want to make the eye socket a little bit bigger. I don't know. I was just looking at it. I'm like, you know, that could be a little bit larger. Pulling up here for the side of the forehead. Pulling up here. And I'm gonna throw a line across the top here. A line across the top. And now I'm gonna throw the top of the see that's the brow, right? And now I'm gonna go up here. Draw a line, a couple of lines, and I'm going to draw the top of the head. 
like so, just the top of the skull here. Cool. And I'm gonna draw the crossbones, so the Jolly Rogers crossbones, I'm gonna draw a line over here, and I wanna keep track of where I think it's gonna come out over here. In my, so I have to keep track of it in my mind's eye, or I can line it up like so. Right? Heart at the end here, kind of a heart shape for the end of that, because I think they're supposed to be femurs the crossbones, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Line, line, and I'm gonna to have to follow that through in my mind's eye where I think it's gonna come out. I think it's gonna come out over here. Heart at the end of that. Heart at the end of this as well. Heart shape, doesn't mean it's actually a heart, it's just like a heart shape. <clears throat> gonna go over here to the top throw a little bit of hair because th th those clowns have that kind of hair going on a little bit of hair here and they really have the hair along the side like so line over here we draw the, the hair on the other side. It's just like a triangle, but it's a, like made of clouds or something. That's kind of the way I like to think about it. Like a cloud, that one's a little bit long actually, but so be it, that's what it is. Maybe some lines over here, showing off, you know, some detail. You throw some smaller lines right here under the bags of the eye, maybe right here in the these uh, dimples here on the skull itself. Just throwing in detail and that tends to uh, kind of make it more realistic or, or at least, I'm sorry, not realistic, but more stylized. But it, when you throw in little details like this, like this line I'm doing here, and really that's literally what it is. It's just like a line style showing off the form a little bit it gives it more um, complexity and that that makes it more um, like I say convincing I mean, it's not gonna be realistic obviously this is cartoony but it just kind of makes it more like oh wow this person put a lot of work into this or uh, you know it makes it look more professional as well or just more worked on and that's kind of what you should be aiming for in a way I'm gonna do it on the nose as well here But yeah, anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. That is a clown skull, scary clown skull. Uh, I'll do a few versions of this too. I've already done a couple in the past, but I'll do more. I, I would like a playlist of this actually. Um, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe and sharing is caring. When you share the video, it kind of brings a lot of momentum to the channel for the next three months because this is only a three month channel every year. But yeah, bring on the momentum. Um, thank you so much, and I will see you next time, all right? See you tomorrow. Stay spooky.